Race day is almost here now. The Austin Marathon kicking off at 7 o'clock Sunday morning with an expected 15,000 people crossing the finish line. This year's race may well rank among the warmest starts in more than 20 years. KXAN's Alicia Inns talked to the woman in charge of keeping you safe one step at a time. Austin, Texas winters, where it can be 60 degrees one day and 87 the next. It keeps even experienced Texas runners like Allison Maxis on her toes. I can do okay in dry heat, but humidity is a problem. And for me, I like about 38 degrees on the start line. Sorry to break it to you, Allison. You've got to add about 27 degrees to that sweet spot. This weekend, she says it's not about setting a personal record in potential record heat. She's just hoping to finish. Not able to work as hard for as long. So you've really got to dial back the efforts. Um, it's, it's a big factor. For the marathon's medical director, Dr. Martha Pyron. Can you follow my finger with your eyes? The real marathon begins before the race. Who's doing what? Who's got what equipment? Who's bringing it to where? And how are we going to make sure this is taken care of? Tyron recruited more than 100 people to help her on race day. A medical trainer will be at every mile marker, some on bikes, even some running in the race to spot any trouble. And I have a whole staff just at the finish line to be able to catch people because one of the things that happens is people run and they get to the finish line and they stop and then they pass out. <laughs> so we have literally people ready to catch you. Race organizers will have more than double the water normally available. And the doctor said every ice bath she can find will be set up. There is a one hour period of time where 5,000 people will cross the finish line. So we are like ah, potentially going to see one or two people every minute coming into the tent for that hour. A staff ready to remain cool in case of a marathon meltdown. Alicia Inns, KXAN News.